Step 1. The battery pack requires four AA batteries and the remote transmitter requires one 9 volt battery. Note, battery replacement should occur when the low battery icon on the remote transmitter flashes and when the remote receiver beeps continuously. Step 2. Install four AA batteries into the battery pack. Ensure the polarity matches the indicators in the battery pack. Then reinstall into the bottom right corner of the appliance. Care should be taken to avoid damaging any wires. Step 3. Install one 9 volt battery into the back of the remote transmitter. The LED screen will illuminate once the battery is installed. Note, we recommend battery replacement should be done on an annual basis. Step 4. Ensure on-off switch for the remote receiver is in the on position. Step 5. To program the remote system, press and hold the reset button on the remote receiver using a narrow tool until you hear two beeps, then release. Step 6. Within 20 seconds, press and hold the small flame button. Two beeps will indicate a successful programming. Release the buttons. Note: Programming is only required once. It is not required after battery replacement. Step 7. Turning the appliance on, simultaneously press the large flame button and the off button. You will hear a short beep. Release the buttons. Continuous beeping will occur. Appliance ignition will take approximately 20 seconds. Step 8. For flame height adjustment, use the flame buttons. To quickly adjust the flame height to the lowest or highest settings, double click the small flame button for low or the large flame button for high. Step 9. To turn off the appliance, press the off button on the remote transmitter. Note. A period of 40 seconds will need to elapse before attempting to turn the appliance back on. Press the set button on the remote transmitter to cycle through the different modes of operation. Step 11. In daytime temperature mode, the default temperature setting is 23 degrees Celsius or 74 degrees Fahrenheit. Step 12. In nighttime temperature mode, the temperature is learned and will be specific to each household. This temperature mode can also be adjusted. Step 13. In timer mode, you can set the appliance to turn on and off at specific times. Step 14. In manual mode, the flame height is adjusted using the flame buttons on the remote. Step 15. To change the daytime temperature or nighttime temperature, scroll the preferred mode by pressing the set button. Once you have found the preferred mode, hold the set button. The temperature will then flash on the LED screen. Step 16. Adjust to the desired temperature by pressing the large flame button to increase and the small flame button to decrease. To set this as your new temperature, press the off button. Step 17. To change a timer, scroll to the timer mode by pressing the set button, then hold the set button. The time will flash on the LED screen. Step 18. There are two timer programs, P1 and P2. Each program has an on time, depicted by the sun symbol, and an off time, depicted by the moon symbol. To scroll through each option, press the set button. Step 19. Adjust the hour by pressing the large flame button and the minutes by pressing the small flame button. To set the timer, press the off button. Step 20. To change from Celsius to Fahrenheit or vice versa, press the off button and the small flame button simultaneously. Step 21. To change the time, press the small and large flame button simultaneously. The time will start to flash. Step 22. Adjust the hour by pressing the large flame button and the minutes by pressing the small flame button. To set this as your new time, press the off button. Note. The appliance should now operate successfully with the remote system. If it is not functioning properly, see the instruction manual for the troubleshooting information or call a service technician.